everyone, it's Ed from Gamespace here once again, and we're going to be taking a look at the AOC GK500 keyboard. This mechanical gaming keyboard from AOC is part of the expansion just from gaming monitors into peripherals by AOC. It comes in at around the 50 to 65 ish dollar range, so it's going to be a reasonably budget keyboard that's going to give you the full gaming layout that you might want and it's going to give you mechanical switches let's take a look at the keyboard at the moment and unbox it the AOC GK500 is probably the companion piece to the GM500 mouse that we already reviewed it comes with um, Oteru red switches I believe this one should have and it means that it will be something around half the price of the top-end gaming keyboard the AOC have just launched the 700 series. It is however going to be full of a ton of features that we'll take a look at. So first of all unboxing as you can see is pretty easy and we've got the warranty card right here. Let's pop that to one side. We've got the quick setup guide which is really quick and we've got the keyboard itself so let's get that unboxed okay so initially let's just take a quick look at the AOC GK500 straight off the bat as you can see this is a full keyboard layout so um, we've got a full number pad here and we've got a full query keyboard here. Obviously, there'll be regional variations. We've got WASD, and as I've said earlier, it comes with uh, Oteru red switches underneath, which we'll take a look at in one moment. Um, we've got full media controls along the top, and we've got, hopefully, stands at the back. Uh, we've also got a fully braided cable which I'm guessing is probably something around 1.8 meters off the top of my head, looks like. Um, USB 2 and fully branded AOC connection there as well. Hopefully you can see that. So we'll pop that to one side. It does come physically connected, so you're not going to be replacing that cable. Uh, and if it does get pulled or frayed, then there's going to be no replacing that. Um, the... We also get bundled keycap remover, which is nice touch, and a separate WASD set of keycaps as well, if you want to make that easier to see. Um, it comes with a wrist rest also bundled in with the GM500, which is magnetic, which is a lovely touch. So you don't need to worry too much about connecting and disconnecting that. And if you knock it over, it will just come straight off without breaking the rest of the keyboard, which is great. Um, outside of that, the GM500 comes with a pretty decent spec, all things considered, for a mid-range or even possibly budget, depending on the way you look at it and the price you get it at, keyboard. It doesn't just come with red switches, which give you a linear, um, more gaming orientated setup so as you can hear the switches don't have the click and they definitely don't have a tactile bump of brown or blue keys um it also comes with a one on board profile 25 uh key ghosting anti-ghosting sorry um as well as a number of other features so what we'll do right now is we'll just take this off and we'll take a look at the keycaps you've got on here as well as the switches so as you can see those are full red switches right there um, as well as if I can get them back on I fairly fairly tactile feel to the keycaps themselves that are a little rough rather than matte um, so 
you get a little resistance when pushing across as well as down the keys when gaming although they are a little noisy when they bottom out but not the worst I've heard in the world uh, the it doesn't have a ton of flex either which is pretty good for this price point it feels like it's a fully aluminium certainly top and then a plastic base on that so all round really solid construction um really surprising to get red keys on again a keyboard that's kind of mid-range to budget depending on what you'd normally spend and the full-size keyboard layout is always a nice touch as well as the fully magnetic rest rest if you want to find out more about the gm 500 keyboard um, the mid-range in AOC's new set of gaming peripherals, then take a quick look over at gamespace.com for our full review of what we actually felt when we got into game with the AOC GM500.